Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Bunk. Oh yeah, alright, so uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're going to continue on with the AI, uh, the investigator AI one. Uh, we didn't finish that from last episode. We have to go drop him off at a bar, so uh, we shall do that. So we've done quite a bit in this game so far. We've been from the very lows to the very highs. And to the frozen parts. Soon we'd be at the Blue Chewy Jazz Bar. It was a dive, but it was the kind of place you'd go for answers. Who had left me that note? Who was the smoking man? And where would I? We have an incoming call. Uh -oh. Control? No. It is for Huxley. I knew who was calling. This would be bad. Put it through, I guess. What in chorus name you think you're doing, you pile of junk? Where have you been? The client was mad, and with good reason. He paid good money, but I'd been stuck down in the hollows following a lead. The lead went cold, and I was trapped down there with no comm signal and no cash. You wasted my money and my time. If you don't find my daughter, I'm infecting Logic virus. I have hacker friends. Hey, what the hell? I don't know who you are, but you better leave this idiot to do his job. I was gonna save that girl, but not because of the threats. Truth was, I was the only one searching for her. 24 hours, then your time's up. I want my daughter back, but if she's gone, she's gone. I'll live with that. But what I won't stand for is some android stealing my money. Get to work. He hung up. We're close to the bar. <laughs> I hope the dame would come with me. Was that too much to ask? Uh, yes. I'll come to the entrance, but after that, we need to get back to work. And if Control calls with another job at any point, you're on your own, Huxley. The offer was as fair as the spin of a roulette wheel. I rolled the dice and took a gamble. You don't use dice in roulette. I know, Camus. Just let it go. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Huxley. To the entrance. Smoking Jojo? Where's Smoking Jojo? He's on the other side? There we go. Took you long enough. Cough. <laughs> are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't <laughs> call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burned out, overheating and underperforming. He awesome. didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than... My name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. <laughs> Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <coughs> but as you can see... I ain't got long left. You can fry an egg on my processor. Can't nice. you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this. I actually thought he was before. smoking a cigarette. I wanted to hear what the old bucket <laughs> had to say. But how did he know I was looking for pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig a few months back. The pay was real good. And I'm still the best horn player in town. <laughs> Even if I don't look too good these days. What? With all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there. Talking about how he got screwed over. Oh no, and? poor guy. Look, I don't like squidding like this. <laughs> <coughs> Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. <laughs> so what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy is drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Just get to the point. <laughs> You're enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouth and off, Raguan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. 
he says he's not to be messed with. Because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him. But he takes a drink. And through his tears, he keeps saying, Sorry, Pasta. Sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we'd picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. Oh my god. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. My lord, my lord, huh? Lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff going on. And this guy's supposed to be the private investigator? Hmm, I don't know. I think we're better at it than he is. Alright. Let's go, uh... Let's go, buddy. He is still here? Why is he still here? <laughs> We're just taking him to one more place. Mm, Why? Funny. The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? Yes, please. I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Raguan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing Corpsec without the proper clearance from board of directors. Mm -hmm. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. sad. I'll bet. <laughs> but was there anything in the background? Searching? There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us a nav point. Yay! Alright, let's go and uh, check this out. Control. Get you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I'll have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. You are. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment. This was the place for sure. Warrior. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. I know. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Be careful, Huxley. I Even the dog. Pashta. For words and the it was dame wished me luck. A luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. BB okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Uh -huh. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? <laughs> no, it's time to move on, Camus. Oh, now we got a job. Hey, kid. Um, you free now? Yes. Finish your coffee? I am. My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower. Labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. All right. So let's go back and go this way, I guess. We we'll get that package and perfect. Now we're back at Plow Cat uh, Cloud Punk. All right. Let's go get our package. Bam. 
Mr. Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. <laughs> Maybe the package will be for an oh. old man. We'll find out soon. Oh. Let's find this Anderson Tower. One second. I see there a new face. There are so many more people like me here than back at the plateau. Here in Navalis? Does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. Mm -hmm. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. <laughs> they are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. Aww. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. You poor people. Hey, I know you. You're Cloudpunk. I am. No, I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. Who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Navalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? Wow. We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. <laughs> it was so dark inside the superstructure, it was impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near coal ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. Oh, That's wow. All I can say. That's Can't like a needle in a haystack. Came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. Awesome. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. <laughs> Alright. So, there's people to go find too, I guess, eventually. But uh... Camus, are you there? Did you hear what the moisture farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Oop. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding oh. a nav point. On my way. Yeah, I'll be for next, but we'll go and uh, deliver the package to Mr. Anderson. I think that's what we'll do first. The other one's like a side mission, so... Well, they're all kind of like side missions. I don't know if you really classify them as main missions or not. It's, I guess when you do a mission for Cloudpunk, it'd be like a main mission. If you do a mission for somebody else, it'd be like a side mission. I guess that would make kind of sense, right? Uh, we're still pretty good on gas. Keep going. Oh, Mr. Anderson's right outside the building, so it makes it even easier to go get. Oh, we can pick this up. What the heck's that X? A buzzer. Hello? Who's there? 
I'm Delivery Driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope. We can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. <laughs> no, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great. Come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Oh. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? 1,000. Oof. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. <laughs> of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. Wow. That was amazing. I guess that was the only way to get through that, maybe? So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Nice. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. Sounds good. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm. But a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Awesome. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Uh-oh, it's Neo. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. <laughs> there exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. Uh... My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. <laughs> Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh, what? No, we are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Wow. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. <laughs> and where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. Oh boy. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. Oh boy. That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. <laughs> I can't... You should get a union. Oh, it's horrible. Let's see... Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, oh. don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. <laughs> Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? 
You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. <laughs> she keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait. Can you do something for me? Maybe. Oh my god. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Oh boy. Yeah, you guys definitely need help. Alright, here's Mrs. Anderson, or Miss Anderson, sorry. Oh my god. Ms. Anderson from accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! <laughs> yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. Oh boy. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. <laughs> so the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. Wow. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months. Perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. Mm, I've been hearing right. about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? Probably. The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. Nice. So, who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name. Cora. Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. <laughs> if you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? A complaint? Is it a complaint? Yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? Here. This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Mm -hmm. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. Well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. That's correct. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. True. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. Nice. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Mm, I don't know. So far, they haven't seemed to be willing to leave. What do you all think? I don't know. Kind of strange, right? Nobody has asked to leave. They're all like, well, you can't take breaks, this and that, blah, blah, blah. 
And then... I don't know. I, I guess we should leave them to do their own little thing, right? What do you think? I think that's what we should do. I think we should let them do everything that they're, they're doing. Because if we go and we flip the switch, then they're all going to be like, right back to the way they were. So let's just leave them with those memories, those thoughts. Let's let them do their own choice. I think it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Novalis air. I do agree. So if they happen to leave, well, it'll be by their own choice. I think that's a, an appropriate thing. You were gone right. for a long time. I couldn't talk to you. Communication oh, from God. the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Chemis. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's don't a long story, Chemis. I'll tell you some other time. <laughs> we have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? <laughs> because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me an F point for the roadhouse club. Mm, well, it's way back there, though. This one's like so close. I'll go do this one first. There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. Uh, I'm not too worried. Uh, e. There we go. Oh God! It's open. Someone found us. I don't believe it. Hey, man. Me neither. You're from the vents. Yes. The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. <laughs> they thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain. No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but. May we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please, take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora, bless you, Cloudpunk. Nice. Alright, so we rescued them. That's a good thing. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So, on that note, we're gonna call that an episode. Uh, next episode, we'll go to the Roadhouse, and now uh, we'll check out what Rubric has for us. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.